Hi everyone, greetings from Los Angeles, happy solstice. I thought that I would pop on here right now and just kind of share with you what my weekend was like. I've taught in-person workshops for 25 years now, wow. And this was the first weekend where I have taught virtually for four days in a row. So I thought that I'd share with you the different projects and things that I, I worked on and shared this weekend. So I have my monthly ongoing series called The Art Life, which is part workshop, part community, salon, um, kind of think of it like Facebook, but better. And it's for artists. So there's a vast amount of resources and a library of information that is just packed with videos and collage sheets and ideas and gallery photos like there's a lot of stuff on there so what I did was on Fridays during the summer I've added something that I'm calling summer spark Fridays it's kinda of like art camp but for adults and what we're gonna be doing is every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight ta Time for an hour we are going to go through and we're gonna paint different things and what you're looking at right now the pear the apple the scissors are just some of the different things we are going to paint you do not have to paint these actual objects, but I am going to show you how to make backgrounds like this, how to layer color like this, how to draw and paint, and a whole lot more. So it's an hour every Friday this summer, and if you can't make the sessions live, again, I'll have them recorded and placed in our video library. And this is from this past Friday. So what we did was we started by painting our bottles, and some people did not do bottles, they did other things, but I went through and I shared with them different perspectives and ideas and tips, tricks, and techniques on how to think about color palettes, um, different ways to create texture, different mark making tools, etc., etc., etc. So it just was really fun being able to see the different pieces that people created. There's people all over the world in the group, so it's just been a lot of fun, and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time now and I'm just happy that I'm finally able to do it. So that's the art life and this was on heavy watercolor paper but for the class demo I ended up working on an MDF panel so that was cool. Then on Saturday and Monday I taught a new virtual workshop that I called Finding Beauty and what we did was we spent the first two hours of the workshop going through and learning different ideas for drawing and just different ways to get you moving and thinking and putting your pencil to paper making notes and learning and just doing the work so that was Saturday and Monday and then what we did after the first two hours of the class with the drawing we went back to our original drawings and we added color we started painting and I thought of this kind of like a um, a mad scientist notebook a, an inspirational notebook um, you know we went through and we have our color palettes that we use we have a list of our tools list of all the different ways in which we can get these techniques and textures and I walked everybody through different ideas exploring how to paint their own flowers that they had drawn earlier in the day. So this was the Finding Beauty workshop and it's recorded. I just sent out the information to everybody today, the recordings plus a handout. And then on Sunday I taught this month's session of The Art Life. And before I talk about that, I forgot about I have these little things. So the art life is, I try to keep it inexpensive. It starts at $25 a month, but there are different tier levels. It's what I'm calling a patron project. And I, for various reasons, did not want to use the other site that starts with a P. Um, I've built my own site that I'm using through a, an, another place and it's a vast resource of information and people can sign up at different levels 
and if you take the higher tiers they start at you can get prints different prints in the mail and surprises there was a surprise that went out to the patrons this month that I won't talk about because not everybody's got it yet um, and then there's higher tiers for original art all sent in the mail and it's just fun to be able to get goodies in the mail so that's part of the art life if, if you don't want stuff in the mail cheapest level most inexpensive level I try to make it affordable to everybody is 25 bucks a month and what I try to do for that price is I want you to think of it almost like a buffet of sorts where you can come and take what you need so you don't have to feel like oh I can't I can't attend all of the live sessions you know or I don't want to do that specific project I want to do this instead that's okay it's 25 bucks a month you know you can come and take the two-hour live classes you could participate in the artist salon you don't have to do any of the lives there are some of the people who haven't participated in any of the lives and that is totally fine by me they watch the recordings they take what they need and that's what what it's there for it's something that I've been wanting to do for a really really long time where I wanted to build this one specific community where people can come and gather with other artists and talk art. That's the whole thing. Talk art, make stuff together, learn ideas, share ideas. You know, it, it's 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 technique, it's art history, it's painting, it's collage, it's drawing, it's it's all sorts of different things so you can read up on the website instead of listening to me ramble about it but I've been obsessed with it for a long time and I'm just really really happy and grateful that I've finally been able to do it so this was Sunday's class where I went through and this was my original sample page so those of you who know my work from earlier know that I started with actually started with um, card making and then went into painting and then eventually started doing collage but that's for a whole other story <laughs> but um you know for the longest time I did collage with paint and in the middle of 2020 I have had a hard time working with people images since then I've been using my own painted images so when I went to demo this page I was trying to figure out oh, what can I do you know how can I do something different because I don't want to use a person but I want to explore the same theme and idea with what I teach in this class so what I did was I went from this to this was my finished page for Sunday's class might tweak a couple of things but it's finished for now where this is actually a collage element and there's some other collage elements on the page so what I did ahead of time was I filmed a separate video on how to paint my sun hat because I was mining my earlier journals from the last couple of years trying to figure out what kind of painted images I could make and use as a collage element on the page so I thought that was really cool being able to use my own painted collage elements um, and then we went through after we did collage work we went back and we did painting and different textures and I gave all you know all sorts of different ideas on how to you know not so much recreate this page step by step though that is how I teach it's to walk you through my process so that you're inspired to take those ideas and do your own thing and it was I gotta tell you it was ridiculously wicked wicked cool yeah I'm from Boston um, <laughs> to wake up this morning and to click on the art life and to see what other people had shared because they might have used the similar color palette they might have used some of these images but the people that shared on the group this morning there's pages look nothing like this and it was just super cool and inspiring to see what people made using the ideas that we explored and experimented with in class on Sunday so again the art life it is once a month the basic price is $25 a month I try to keep it affordable there are some people who sub have subscribed to it since day one and other people come and go as they please it's every month you can take what you need 
Again, there's a two-hour live workshop that's also recorded and placed in our video library. There are two salon sessions. Remember, I used to call them paint collage play days. They're virtual salons. Think of them as art making quilting bees with people from all over the world. Some people use that designated time to carve out creativity and it's a lot of fun and we laugh a lot. We're also inspired. I have people who will ask me to demo certain things or they'll ask me questions during that time period. So it's just kind of fun because it's packed with information and it's also um, it's just a really inspiring and nice time to be with you know other artists and then I also have on Fridays now the hour paint sessions the, the what I'm calling the summer spark Fridays and again if you can't make the live sessions they are also placed in our video library there's collage sheets there's my older class handouts there are pages and pages and pages of information in our resource library there's over a hundred videos there's a lot of stuff so again it's I'm pouring everything I've got into it so that was my weekend it was good it was colorful it was creative and I hope that one of these weekend days or weekdays you can join me so if you have any questions, you know where I am. Thanks for watching. Happy solstice. Stay colorful. Stay creative. And as my junior high school teacher used to say, stay safe, stay sober, stay out of trouble. Bye.